It's that time of year again. It's time for the Senior Summit. It's the 19th annual, and it's happening on May 17th from 9 to 2 o'clock at 4-H Park. And it's a great chance for you to come and get lots of information from great vendors and great community leaders like Jonathan Soisman from Soisman Dentistry. He's one of our sponsors this year. Thanks for joining us, John. Thanks for having me. Of course. I feel like we're about to have a little bit of fun. Sure. <laughs> I like fun. So what? it's your first time joining in with the Senior Summit from Soisman Dentistry. Are you okay. guys excited to be a, a partner with the community and, and get to talk with the seniors? Oh, man. You, well, I talk with seniors a lot, but I'm excited to talk with them on this particular forum, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm always excited to participate. Yeah. So... The answer to your question is yes. Yes, perfect. And we're going to have lots of seniors at the Senior Summit. They're going to stop by the table. I believe they're going to meet Katie that afternoon. Cool. Or that morning. Well, so, I hope they want to have fun. Yeah, Katie, I, that's are what we going to have fun? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we heard it from the back. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some things that the, if maybe they haven't heard of the dental office or they're new to the area, what are some things about you to uh, kind of inform them about? Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you about our office. Um, yeah. I can tell you about me personally, but the office um, is an amazing office. We, we serve people. We serve the individual. So everyone's different. Just because a person is 60 years old doesn't mean every 60-year-old is exactly the same, and it's the same with any age. So we individualize our treatment based on patients' goals and desires. It's like it's really easy in life to ask a person, what do you want? And that's what we do. I mean, and you know, you get to a certain stage in life. I've only read about what it's like to be 60, and I've gotten a chance to talk to a lot of wonderful people. But, you know, things change, and, you know, lifestyles change. Um, they change for the, a lot for the better. People seem very, very happy as they're in their retirement age and their legacy years where they're taking care of their grandchildren. But, I mean, in terms of ind individualized customized treatment we we meet the person where they are and um we treat them how they want to be treated yeah so yeah that's great and uh, some people might be visiting from out of county you also have an office in talbot oh yeah we have an office in talbot county we just we just built um well we just we just uh built a new space out that's 5,000 square feet. So that's the biggest space we've had yet. And we have a lot of patients that live sort of in the midway between both and they use both offices. Actually, we have a ton of patients that live in Easton and love to come to Centerville. <laughs> and we have patients that live in Centerville and go to Easton. So you need that change of scenery, man. You I to. guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, both places are wonderful. So yeah, it's all good. So you've been doing a lot in the community for as long as me and you have got to know each other. It's true. It's uh, been a long time. Yeah, actually. it has. We got to visit for lots of free dental days. What are some things that you've been and doing? And that's good memories, thinking back when we started. That was like 2015, and you came out. We had a ribbon-cutting ceremony, and you had, and you still have a wonderful personality, and I appreciate oh, that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you came out. We just did some cool things in the office and your humor and all that. Um, so what were you going to ask? Oh, I was just uh, about how fun it is to be in the community and do these kinds of events. Well, um... I think we got a pretty daggone smoking hot community. We've got, I mean, we've got a tremendous amount of talent from younger people to older people. And, um, you know, it just seems like ugh, lately, you know, you turn on, and it's maybe it's not lately, maybe it's always been like that, but just we're inundated with things that aren't super positive. And there's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to be excited about. And so, you know, take a look right around the corner from this building is a brand new, huge YMCA. How cool is that? Yeah. Also one of the sponsors. Was that? I mean, I just think it's cool. You know, you've <laughs> got like, you've got this like heroin sign for heroin overdose. And now you do something about it by building a huge building for the kids to come, leave high school, go swimming. I mean, I remember when I graduated from uh, Easton Middle School a long time ago. I'm catching up to the seniors um, that uh, we would go over. I tried to play basketball. You play basketball? Uh, you know, I play whether Man. or not what I'm doing is basketball. I mean, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I'm not a super hot basketball player. I'm better at indoor soccer. But, um, but that's what we did. We, 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 we would uh, get out of school at Easton Middle School and go right across to the YMCA in Easton. Yeah. This guy, Mr. Kirkley, was the manager and built that out. And uh, Mr. Paul Kirkley, who's passed away now, but um, he... Uh, I mean, just a great facility, and I can see, I haven't been in yet, and I apologize because I want to go in, but I can see that that facility is going to serve this community tremendously. So 
I'm excited about a lot that's going on. We've got a lot of great people yeah. and, and a lot of great things happening. So yeah, and when they come to the senior summit, they get to learn about hopefully a lot, most of most of them. I'm about sure the all. YMCA is going to be there too. They will be there. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, they will be. Yeah, so lots of great information. I don't know if you know this, but the theme this year is the '60s for the senior summit. I like so, it. So they expect people to dress up. So can we make Katie dress up for the '60s? I know she she would love to. Katie, what do you think? Oh, Thumbs so up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do yeah, the seniors get to do that too? Oh yeah. Oh, they go all out. Do they? Oh yeah, they have fun. This is they have a DJ. They do free food. They that have was, bingo. Wasn't that the year of free love? I mean, it, that's the '60s, right? '70s, '60s. Yeah, '60s and '70s. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're, they're ready to relive. That's some cool. love. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. So we have bell bottoms. Is bell that... bottoms. Oh yeah, tie dye everything. All right. Good deal. Yeah. Enjoying Katie. food, enjoying time, door prizes. It's gonna be a great day. I know, I know you're going to wish you were there for bingo, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can do bingo. How, yeah. how many cards can you work at one time? Oh, man, it's got to be unlimited, right? All right. Eight, ten oh, cards. One, one, one card, card at a time. I'm sorry, one card. Have you, have you I, ever played bingo? I, and eight cards. Yeah, yeah, eight, yeah, I'm going to have 20. Have you ever played bingo and then you yelled at bingo when you didn't have it? It's you, happened. You see, I, I, had my, my, I used to go I with my grandmother it. in Ellicott City, um, and she's passed. I, it was one of the it was great memories with my grandmother, and she would smoke, right? And... and which you shouldn't do. It's not good for your teeth, <laughs> right? So, but she, and there was a lot of other people at bingo, like these bingo players that would smoke. But anyway, she had this cool little case with a little thing, you know. Anyways, she put out all of her 10 cards and she had this dabber. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the color dabbers are Oh, everything. my gosh. Oh, yeah, so yeah, she yeah, yeah. double dab, like double fist dab, like blah, 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 blah. She was so good at working 10 cards and I could barely work one, like round robin. With, yeah. You know, you get these things. Yeah. But I, I, called, I called once. I was so excited, I thought, and then... You know, everybody's like, you hear the, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all waiting. Yeah. I think I had like a knife thread or something. Oh. Like, I, I think a lady, an old, like 82-year-old woman pulled out a butterfly knife. Yes. And was like, don't do it again. The, the fact that you're here with me today. Yeah, it was Miracles. fortunate. Miracles. <laughs> Be careful. Do not call if you're not ready. That's good. And that's a good, that's a good rule for everyone at the Senior Summit. I like it. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, thanks for having me. Can't wait to see you at the Senior Summit. The Soisman Dance will be there, answer any questions you might have, check out their website, but more importantly, have a great day, learn about the community and all it has to offer. We'll see you there. Love you guys.